Hello everyone, welcome to another Supreme Commander 2 cast, but you already knew that because you are so, so smart. And speaking of the smartest people, only the smartest people hit that subscribe button, then they rang that bell and they turn on all notifications so that they can be part of the hottest Supreme Commander 2 action that this channel has to offer. It's free for you and it means the world to me, and speaking of meaning the world to me, click the link down, <laughs> click the link down below and check out my band. Sorry to interrupt everyone, but my band just released a new music video. Click the link down below to check that out. Guys, it means the world to me that you guys support me. Thank you. It really helps me out. Anyhow, another Eco Viewer cast. And we gotta say, right now I want you to comment down below and say thank you, Alpha Hex, for making this happen. Yes, I'm doing it on a team game. And yeah, that is a that is a lot on the screen, but you know what? I love it. I think it's amazing, and uh, we it's great. As you can see, Alvex made improvements with the colors and the team names. So we got the mass storage. It's how much mass they have. How much mass per second? How much energy? How much energy per second? That that's like how much you're getting per you know from the energy generators or the ACU from the mass extractors or the ACU research. How much you have in storage, and how much research per minute. That's from the ACU right there. 0.6 is from the ACU. You'll see that pop up when they get in combat, because this game rewards you with research during combat. And you'll see that research stations also do the same. So, anyhow, yeah. It is a 3v3 match. The map is Van Horn Core. So, let's get it on. And I've Gotta say thank you to Alphex again. So I'm going to introduce, this is actually Team 2 and this is Team 1. The reason why I know is because I had to fill this out by hand. So, should I introduce? I like to introduce this as Team 1, so that's what I'm going to do even though they are Team 2. So, yeah, Team 1 is over here. Or Team Left or East. And then there's Team 2. Or East or Team Right. We're going to call them Team 1 and 2. That's what I like to do. So, we got... Cassidy! Spawning in as the blue UEF commander. Dropping out a bunch of eco. And we I know we had Cassidy doing a... A community cast last time. But, in a 1v1 setting... Well, let's just say, team settings are completely different... Than a 1v1 setting. If you do your job in a... 1v1 set in a, oh my goodness, if you do your job in a 2v2 setting, you could be up there with the pros. Yes, you could beat pros yourself if you do really well, and your team does really well in a two in a 3v3 setting. So we got MR T4K, we're going to call him MR, spawning in as the orange Aeon Commander dropping in a double air factory opener. And he's scouting, I think. Scouting his teammate, I don't know why, but whatever. And then we got Marine One Corp spawning in as the Green Cyber Commander. Dropping down a research station and getting a whole bunch of energy generators. I don't know why, it's a little early for that. But hey, what do I know? We got a radar installation. I know he's going to want to get Megaliths, that's why he's doing that. But oh, there, there's the research. Getting two, probably want to get three, but hey, we'll see what happens. And we got... Well, we know that Brown is Alpha X, so we see Alpha X scouting. He knows what's up. And we got MR scouting. He knows what's up. We got Team 2. We got Fire Knight spawning in as the White Aeon Commander. Dropping down a land factory and a research station. Playing it safe by putting a land factory back there. Not bad at all. And then we got Alpha X spawning in as the Brown Aeon Commander. Dropping out a double air factory opener. Pretty good. And then we got Titan RT spawning in as the yellow Cyber Commander. Dropping out a double research station opener and a land factory. Getting a point defense. He's got Cassidy breathing down his throat. The point defense won't do much good against the Meteor. Now, MR is threatening with his air. Don't, yeah, don't, don't get in there and take too much damage. Definitely don't want to do that. Good place would be right there, yeah, would be. Definitely keep reinforcing those air units. 
Those MMLs are going to antagonize a little bit. Alpha Hex being a bro, pushing his ACU up here to help protect, putting an air factory. Kind of a risk with a bunch of MMLs right there. Might want to get more troops to that area if I were Cassidy. Okay, Cassidy is just... Go! Oh, no! That is five MMLs down the drain. Right there. Where were you, MR? Not successful. Not successful at all. What are you doing? Main priority, guys. Defend your teammates. That's the main priority. Why, are they, why aren't all your air together, MR? MR! Get your air... Dude. There you go. Get your air all together. I like how MR is building up more air factories. That is good. Alpha X has four. MR should have four. Why is MR down on air factories? Okay. Why is Alpha X up on air factories? Huh. Well, MR is floating mass. That's why. He has enough mass for another air factory, but he's not doing it. MR, man. Titan RT is doing good. Fire Knight is floating mass. He has enough for a, another factory or two, actually. I don't know why he doesn't do that. All right, Alphex, obviously. Yeah, this is going in Alphex's. This is going Alphex's way. You can see that Alphex is hitting S, and then A over S A S A S A S A. Um, over and over again, he's he's air microwing. That's what that is. Not what S A means in some areas. We're not talking about that. We're talking about air micro. Stop and attack. Stop and attack. That's what he's pressing. That's probably what I should have said. Now Vex has air. He's got air. So he's going to kill that, I think. Yep. That's that's uh, that's going to die. Now Vex stops. You see how he stopped and let his opponent get in front of him? Yeah, annihilated. Completely annihilated. Yeah, now Titan RT has nanobot weapon. This is a problem for Cassidy. What's Cassidy going to do? Now, these adapters need to go over here. They need to help out. Or not. That's fine too. Lose your core mass, Marine One Core. That's fine too. Yeah, Alvex is smart. He's going for that core mass. He's like, You thought you had mass, bucko? Yeah, going for the engineer is a phenomenal. Oh, and taking that out. Taking that, uh. Taking out that anti air tower is a good move too. Now, this is a bad spot to be fighting Brackman. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. And that's why you don't do it. That is 100% why you don't fight Brackman in a tight corner. But you got to learn somewhere. Lots of people haven't... Oh, that's all the core mass. Look at how low 8.2 mass per, sec per second. That's bad. That's real bad. What's Cassidy going to do? There's not a lot Cassidy can do. Because... Brackman and a ACU with a, what would you call that? Nanobot weapon is very strong. Well, Team 1 knows that a Bat Boy is coming on, going to be on the field. Now, as long as these two Megas stay alive, Marine 1 Corpse is going to be very useful.
Marine One Corps really should keep those adapters right next to his ACU. Why is he moving them now? There's no point. What are you going to do with him? Yeah, this is uh, why Marine One Corps is going to die now. Why? What is he doing? What's the point? Yeah, this is a good move by Marine One Corps, though. Taking out all this stuff. Everything's going to get bombed into oblivion. That's That was bound to happen, though. Wow. If those would have split, that would have been a, a lot better, but lots of people don't think the split adapters. Will that mega get that last, these core mass extractors? I don't think so. At least the research station. Yeah, protecting your teammates should be number one. Completely cleaned out Fire Knight. Fire Knight is down to 6.4 mass per second. He's floating so much mass, though, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, he's going to go back and rebuild. It's not going to be a problem for him. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for Marine One Corps to actually do anything. Oh, Fat Boy's out. Now, this is very good. This is very bad to have a, be fighting a fat boy on a... This is not fun to be fighting a fat boy on a small area like this. Not a lot of micro could be done there. Alvex still winning there. Yeah, the adapters are trying to do something, but they, they just... Aeon Air with flare, shields and flares are just unbeatable. But that ACU is looking very exposed. Is there a shield? Yeah, there's a shield there, but it's going to be not an, it's not going to be enough. Yeah, that ACU is dead. That's one dead ACU. And... Oh, surviving another pass, and boom! Down goes Marine One Corpse. That's too bad, because Marine One Corpse was doing all... Well, he didn't have a base, but he was doing okay, considering. Now, what is Team One going to do? Their air player is in a very bad position. Yeah, those holo flares make it impossible. Yeah, it's really hard to win this when you're that far behind in air, especially against a against shields in flares. It's it's just really going to be hard. Well, at least that the air is doing something. I wouldn't throw my air away like, like MR is doing, though. I would definitely keep them right over that anti-air. I'd have anti-air on all those factories. Shields in all those factories. I think that's good. It's good right there. Now, there's not a lot protecting these fat boys. These fat boys could go in maybe one or two passes. Yeah, and here it comes. Yikes! That's what happens when you don't split your anti-air. Yeah, those fat boys are not looking good. And all three fat boys are down. That's really unfortunate for Cassidy. He 
Yeah, you gotta split, Cassidy. You gotta you gotta figure out where they're targeting and just split your units so you don't lose so many in one pass. That's what that's what the problem is for you in this. You the anti air was really good, but at this level, units just sh get shredded. Yeah, this is this isn't good. Fire Knight is pressing on. Yeah, there's really not much that MR can do. A cicada? Is this a cicada really needed? Yeah, why not? Slowly pushing up, but surely this is this is it for team one. And boom, down goes that fat boy. I think this is it for Cassidy. At least MR has some units to fight with. Wouldn't fly over adapters. Nah, not at this level. Yeah. Really don't want to turn your back on units right now. Really just don't want to do that as an air player. But I think it's over. You got to give it to Cassidy and MR for... Not control cane. That's really good. Cassidy was a huge threat to Titan RT there for a moment. And Marine One Corpse was a huge threat to Fire Knight there. And there goes MR 1K. MR T4K. And here's Cassidy. Put the radar up. Why not? Might as well see what's happening. And... What, what, what are you doing, Alpha? And... Boom! Down goes Cassidy. So Team 1 is out of the match. As you can see with all the zeros right there, that, that's how you know somebody died. No mass per second, no energy per second, and no research per second. Because you don't have an ACU. That's how it is in Assassination. So, pretty fun game. Team 2 really just did really well. Titan RT almost got his butt kicked there early on because Cassidy had units very fast. Fire Knight almost got his butt kicked. But hey, you know, sometimes Alpex comes to the rescue. He's oftentimes comes to the rescue. He's a very good player, you know. And like I said, in team games, people who who are definitely in community cast in a team game could definitely be popped up to my pro match casts because they can beat pro players. As you can see that Titan RT almost got it there early on, almost got, was in a lot of trouble. But Alpex saved the day. And not to say that Titan RT might, might not have been able to get himself out of trouble, but Alphex definitely saved the day. Look at how much mass Fire Knight is floating. He's just now rebuilding. He wanted to rebuild up here, so that would have been a 4,600. That would have been a lot of factories to put down right here. Nasty. Would have been incredibly nasty. Remember, he lost a lot of stuff, so he's trying to, he's got a lot of energy for teleport, so at that point, yeah, you want a lot of energy, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, that was a fun match, I thought. Some back and forth. Not a complete... Team 1 didn't just get completely wiped out, but still good. So, thank you for sending me this replay, Titan RT. Thank you so much. It was a fun one to cast. Hopefully, you all at home enjoyed it. So, yeah, like this video, subscribe to my channel favorite, because it helps me out. Send your good replays to stillspeaks at gmail.com, or do like Titan RT did. He went to hashtag replays for still. He first of all he joined the Supreme Commander to Discord server. He went to hashtag replays for still speaks, uploaded it there, and added me. And he was patient. 
here we are casting it now. Or you could join the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server by clicking the link down below and direct message me. You could direct message me your replay. Only do one of those though. Email, hashtag replays for still speaks or direct message. Only do one. Do any more than those, I will not be happy. Don't do it. So yeah. And if you are looking for people to play with... Oh, by the way, Titan RT has a YouTube channel. Check him out. And if you guys are looking for people to play with, if you are playing this game by yourself and want to play against a person and want to get better, watch my videos. That's one way you could do it. Talk to people in my comment section, of course. But the best way is to join the Supreme Commander 2, the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server. Click the link down below. There's over 3,000 members. Lots of people playing all the time. Just look for a game there. Hit people up. Maybe you'll get a match. Yeah. 3,000 members. I can't believe it made it to that point. But yeah. Where was I now this? Yeah. Q Alpha X's ad now. What? You still haven't joined the biggest Supreme Matter 2 Discord in the world with over 1,000... Uh, 2,000? You have General, Hall of Fame, all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube videos, streaming, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Ask for some help, post some memes, send some replays, find a game, death chat. We even have a channel for all the Xbox Upcom 2 players. So what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the video description or just type Supreme Commander 2 in this thing that nobody will ever use. You should join now! Comment down the lo- Comment down below, say something nice about the players, about the game. We all like to hear nice things. We just need to be kind to each other. That is the way we need to be right now. Because the world is difficult. Lots of things happen. Well, it's not that difficult. Well, for some people, it is. It is for some people. But if you try, you just got to be nice to each other. That is my, that's what I would like you to be um, in my comment section. Be nice to people. People like like it it really lifts we don't want we want to lift people up right that's what we want to do and if you have nothing nice to say or nothing no what not you don't know what to say comment down below and say thanks alpha hex that'd be cool if you like what i do and you want to support this channel i have a patreon page click the link down below to get involved with that a big shout out to alpha hex my longest running patron comment uh, he's got a youtube channel of course click the link down below and check him out and Iron Commander, thank you for being a patron. Click the link, click, click the link down below and check out his YouTube video. Check out his YouTube channel. Subscribe to those both Alpha Hex and Iron Commander. And heck, even subscribe, subscribe to Titan RT. That'd be nice of you. And if you don't like a subscription service, you could click the link down below and check out Ko-Fi. You could, you could tip me like five bucks there. That'd be really cool. That is not a reoccurring payment unless you want it to be. But, you know, that's one way you could give me money if you want to. If you don't want to, you know, spend that much, you could always click the link down below. Check out my band's music wherever it is streamed or sold. Amazon, uh, Apple Music, Google Play, whatever they call it now. Those are ways you could buy my band's music. But I will recommend bandcamp.com because you can buy my band's complete discography for 90% off. You can buy it all for like three bucks. Yeah, that, that includes my new song. Do that. My band's new song. And if you don't want to spend any money, I get it. I get it. No worries. Watch Just watch these. You watch my YouTube videos all the way through. Like them. Comment the videos. Feed that algorithm. Share with people who like this type of content. Subscribe to my channel. These are all ways to help me out for free. You can also help me by checking out my ba my band's YouTube channel, watching those videos all the way through, liking them, commenting them, and subscribing to that channel, and sending those videos to people who like that style of music. Another way you could help me out, if you want to be super duper awesome, check out my band on Spotify. Listen to at least one song, especially my new one, Dressed in Plastic, all the way through two or three times, add it to a playlist. Share it with people who like that stuff and follow my band there. That really helped me out. Thanks, guys, for being so cool and being there for me. I appreciate you. So, yeah, I'm going to end this. Share with your friends, family, and foes because you need something interesting to watch as well. As always, everyone, GG. Talk is cheap, but lies are expensive.